nails. Good. That might be too far left, is it? And now twice. Nope. Oh, gosh. I need a garbage bag or do I just drop it? Drop it. This is a bird nest, so they've had birds living in here in the past. And then the baby raccoons are right here. So you have to move the nest and then get the babies. Oh, they're, they're in the nest space. I got one. One. The mom's already up, so we don't really have to rush grabbing them in there. I can hear one, but I can't, can't feel them. It's got insulation in his mouth. Come down with one if that's one of your last one. I can hear another. And just like tips of my fingers are touching him. Oh. Just wait a second because he might come this way. I have four or five babies in the bag that I just grabbed out. There's, I can hear at least one more. And every time I stick my hand in, he goes a little bit further and I can just touching him. So I just waited a few seconds to see if he would come towards me and I'll go reach again. I got him. Okay. I'm down at it. Down at a light. Come on, down Fred. So they were in an area in the attic that we couldn't get to, so that's why we had to go through the soffit. There was just no way of reaching that from inside the attic. And since it's Marley tile, the tiles are just too hard to move. So we got them that way.
they all have their eyes open at least three to four weeks. And we did chase the mom out when we were up there as well. So we know the mom's out, we got the babies and we'll place them in our baby box for her. Their eyes are really open. <laughs> So we put the box attached to the fence because as you saw in the video, she is using this downspout to come down to the ground. So when she goes back up to the roof, she'll be on this downspout. She'll come right on top of the box and she'll be able to open and get her babies. We've done this once, one other time this year and it worked well. So we just attached it four, four spots on the fence and she'll get them right there. All gone.